Ay, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Just yeah. be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Hey, making every quarterback look like they got a arm. And the defense got it covered like State Farm. Hey, thought he had the power, no. Beat him by a 50 piece. Use a skill, watch him beat. That's another picky D. Doing everybody bad. Boy, you getting victimized. And know them ain't no juke moves. You just getting stick alive. The game ain't even started yet, but you already shook. Got a bad library in now, watch him throw a book. Wow. Cap it like new era, boy, you tripping. What he thought he on? Big dog status, you a pup. Sorry, doggy bone. Ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Be truthful with yourself, you know you ain't messing with form. Ayy, making every quarterback look like they got an arm. And the defense got it covered like stay bomb. Ayy, ayy, we back again, so it's time to ring the alarm. Hey, Megan. How was your day today? You eat some breakfast? We gonna talk in a second, man. What's happening, y'all? I got, got another banger for y'all. I actually go on a bit of a um, rant, you know what I'm saying, about uh, YouTubers playing pros. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. I'll, I'll, I'll actually make sure y'all pause this video and smash the like because it's a banger. Subscribe if you're new, bro. That sub button is free. Ain't no reason for you not to hit it, man. It's free, bro. Go ahead and do that for Unk, man. But, yeah, y'all comment down below. Who is the one pro player or YouTuber that you want to play and why do you want to play him? It can be anybody, bro. Who do you want to play the most and why do you want to play him? And do you think you will win the game? Be Keep it a buck with yourself, bro. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy this video. Megan, I love you, man. I love you, girl. Y'all make sure, man, so I can get this check mark. Follow me on Instagram so I can get this blue check and me and Megan can fall in love, man. For real. I'm, I'm going to be like Maxwell, man. I'm going to be singing naked for you, Megan, with cornrows. I want to do that for you. I love you, Megan Good. I love you. I love you. Light skin face. What's happening, doggy bone, man? Unk got y'all back, man. We, we, Hey, look, for all my mutt heads, man, head over to utnights.com, bro, and use code FORM for 6% off all your mutt coin needs, man. It's simple. Go ahead over there. Click on how many coins you want, bro. 200 coins for $11. Hit that pay now. Slide over there and use code FORM. And get your muck coins on, doggy bone. Stop being broke out here, man. And build the God squad that you deserve. The God squad Jesus wants you to have, man. Again, utnights.com for all of your muck coin needs, man. Use code form and help me get this little Skrilla, man. What's happening, doggy bone, man? Unk back. And I got a banger for y'all. Y'all see that in that upper right hand corner, man? We got a banger against Kerry Q, an actual top 10 player in the world. Remember, Unk told y'all there were different type of number one, number one, top 10 weekend league, top 10 uh, leaderboards on mutt, top 10 leaderboard on regs. Then there's the actual MCS pro rankings in which Kerry is top 10 in. So. Uh, I'm gonna keep it a buck. Didn't want to play him. All right, so he's coming out in two hours, uh, two on two, uh, set tight, so he can audible down two single back deuce close, which is his calling card. But I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm not really worried about the deuce close part because we got really good run D. But I know he's gonna two one two out of any set he's in to get back to that deuce close. Now, reason I didn't want to play dog because I don't be wanting to sweat for real, not today. Like, I had on, this was my eighth game of today. I recorded for about five or six hours today. Um, got, this was my very last game, and I was I was about to get off. And I'm like, you know what, because I, I recorded everything on Weekend League, and then I'm like, let me, let me try to get a couple games on All Madden to see if I get matched up with some sweats. And we ended up getting matched up with Kerry, bro. And I'm like, damn, bro. Shouldn't I open my damn mouth. But it's for the content. You feel me? Like a lot of y'all, yo, four, you going to do the MCA for form? Form ain't finna do nothing. I don't know why y'all don't get that, bro. 
I don't play this game a lot, bro. I'm as sorry. I don't. Um, don't. Y'all play. A lot of y'all in the comments play this game more than I do. I record content. And I do not play this game, especially 23. 22? Oh, I was sweating that. Yeah. Yeah. Uncle's in the community right there. I probably had about 2,000 damn games played of Madden 22. Uncle, Uncle was sweaty D. Ah, ah, okay. Ah, ah, ah. Like I, was, I, I was on that. I hate this year's game. I don't think this year's game is bad. I hate it, though. It's a difference. So uh, we get them to fourth, and, and we, get a, we get a turnover on the first drive, which is very rare. Um, let me. I had to bring it back because y'all niggas are cry. So essentially, all I did was I outside thirded on the left side to take away the corner route. I got a flat zone to play uh, anything he throws outside. And then, you know what I'm saying, I did some shading, whoop de whoop stay out of my business. And, and everything else was just based upon my user. Once he sends him outside, now I have to cover him a lot, bro. And then I see uh, him coming over top on the crossers, but I know I don't have to stay with him uh, on the short end because I have Rod Woodson there, and we get to stop. But my primary focus was Crabtree until I seen him break to the right. I could release him to the purple and then get to the next level to the crosser, but I know he's not going to have all day to make it through every single read because I'm sending pressure. There, shut up. But like I was saying, but yeah, man, but like I was saying, bro, I don't play a ton of Madden 22. I, I, didn't, I didn't consider myself a pro in 23. I mean, 22 either, even though I play it a lot. I am a casual player who just so happens to be good at the game. You know what I'm saying? I don't put the work in to be a pro. And the thing that separates pros from most people is the attention to detail. And that is something I don't be paying no damn attention this year. He played that amazingly. Um, but, yeah, I don't, like, I get on, I play. I'm trying to win every game, of course. But I don't put the time in to, like, like where you have a very crazy understanding of each individual coverage. As right there, he sends the pressure. I had two people open, but as you know this year, getting a ball out of your hands in a timely matter is like Madden 20, bro. They did a they did a shit show job with that this year, bro. I don't know why they slowed down the release, but they did. And as you see, when you see the formation I'm running, it's because I'm labbing. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting a, uh, I'm getting my ebook ready. So I'm, you'll see me in this formation as, oh, this pissed me off. Now, look at this shit, man. Look how he magically drifts out of bounds on this catch. This is a dot. Now, look where I put the ball, bro. You see where I put the ball? This is why all y'all be talking about free for free for any nuts. I put the ball there. He's going to go outside. I don't even know what this orange shit he is over here. Well, it's probably because of the pressure. And then let's see what let's see what the accurate. Oh, it was poor accuracy. Poor accuracy, these nuts. But yeah, I hate free form, bro. I put the ball where I want it, but because he sent pressure, I got a poor accuracy. Like that's just so that's doo doo. Like any quarterback gonna be able to stand tall and make that throw. I got the new tool, which I, I, I actually really like that card. But right here, he high balls right over the uh, linebacker. You know what I'm saying? Which I'm not tripping on. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, I'm a, I'm a pretty good player. I'm a pretty, I'm a, for somebody who's not, um, who's who, who plays this game a bit. Now, I'm not like a casual casual. You know what I'm saying? I have a name. I got a, I got a bit, I got a bit of a name up in the community. You know what I'm saying? My name ring a little bit of bells amongst uh good players. But I'm I'm just not, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? Like Unk has zero desire right here. Like this is what I hate the most, bro. The broken tackles. And I I just personally feel like the wildest part of this game this year, bro, is like 
how EA wants man to be good. But if you want man defense to be good, that's fine. You can give it the huge nerf, I mean, buff that you gave it. But don't nerf everything else, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, they clearly slowed down the QB release. They changed AP around. So when we finally do get route text, they're going to be like 4 or 5 AP. So you can't equip them. You know what I'm saying? But inside shades and all that is 2, 3 AP. The uh, deep route KOs is 2 AP. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga, give, give us a fighting shot. So he ends up scoring right here. And now I'm in a do or die situation because I have to get seven here. Or this game will end early. They played me on my first drive. Here comes my second drive. And y'all comment down below and let me know. I personally believe pros get the most DDA out of anybody that I play. Let me know how y'all feel. All right, so coming back out again, I am labbing a, a certain f uh, play a lot because it has really good man beating. Look at that shit, man. This game is terrible, bro. These niggas is playing Duck Duck Goose, man. Look at this. Look at Big 74, man. What is that? They out here playing Duck Duck Goose, man, in the Madon. And I don't like it. But yeah, it's a, uh, the ebook will be ready Friday. But I'm putting some finishing touches on, on certain plays that I've found of late that are really good against man. And in order for me to, you know what I'm saying, really test out how good they are, I got to spam them up. I got a couple game plays with a lot of the for this format, a lot of the plays that I've been spamming. But it's like, I, I, me personally, I don't upload a lot of blowouts, bro. I have game plays where I'm torching the defense, like right there. That's the, uh, that's the play. I have where I'm torching defense, but I'm blowing them out. They quitting in the third quarter. I'm like, niggas ain't going to watch them. They want to struggle grind games, bro. I don't be thinking y'all want the games where I'm throwing for 300 and four touchdowns and I'm winning by 28. Y'all want these struggle grind games, man. And I got to bring them to you. So coming out, I'm coming right back out in the play. I have grown to love this play. Right here, we quick throw to the flats. We break two tackles, which is stupid. You know what I'm saying? But it worked out in our favor. Uh, coming back out, Tua has 87 speed. So I'm running a QB draw. I've been running that a lot, too, because I want to see what's the best formation to run it against. Right there, probably if I would have kept outside, I would have uh, took that to the crib. But as y'all know, Unk don't be running the rock, man. Unk, Unk pass ED out this piece, man. Unk be slagging that thing. So I come out again. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm going to try to cook up some route combos. Um, again, my whole thing with the game this year, I have the high ball backs of the end zone for both of my guys. But the pressure comes screaming in, and I just, I don't have, I, I basically didn't have time to let that route develop, so I had to hold that. Again, I'm going to give him the same look. I'm going to go quick, uh, quick slant on McCaffrey, and then, you know what I'm saying, we're going to make some shake. Oh, no, this time I went high ball again. Okay. We got to go for it right here. Right here is where we go, um, yeah, we go, we go trail. I'm going to go quick slant. Um, by McCaffrey because I know his user is more than likely gonna shoot up there with Shockey and then I probably could sneak by I could sneak right in front of him. It'll be a tight window, but I feel like I could have that throw right there. So then he kind of catches me off because he's on Bailey. And this is what I hate about freeform. When you throw the ball, there's a delay for about a second and a half. Because the meter got to wind up and all this shit, man. Throw that ball, man, when I throw the ball. Like, that's the only thing about free form. It's a lot of other stuff. All right, so I'm coming back out, bro. Um, The goal is just to, to hold him to three, man. That's it. Right here, he audibles down. He goes to the run. And uh, I'm like, okay, that's just that's a seven-yard game. That's a little bit too much. But the run D's been really good. And he has an elite squad. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that's good, dog, got it. 
So right here, we play some good defense again, and uh, he high balls it. That's the one thing pros do that I don't do a lot this uh, year that I probably will start to implement is the high ball. Uh, they high ball, they shit a ton. Right there, we play good defense. He tried to throw that on the run. Uh -uh. And the one thing we've done this drive, bro, is we forced him to eat a lot of clock because we've taken away his first and second read. We forcing dog to go through his progressions. You know what I'm saying? And, and, that, and that making me happy, man. That put the joy up in the heart piece. Right there, we get him in the middle of the field. We get the tackle. He burn a timeout. Um, ideally, I probably would have wanted to go three right there. And then I just guard that underneath route from uh, Casper. But it's easy to say what you would do when you're, like, watching the game instead of, like, in the game. And hopefully, bro, we can get more people to, uh, especially content creators, bro, to hop out here. Because you know what I hate about uh, the content creating aspect of YouTube? And this is outside of the pro players. One thing that be that be that that I hate because it puts a bad st stigma is when a pro player, a YouTuber plays a pro player, man, nigga, we be acting like we just we 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 just lucky and we just happy to be in the game. Oh man, oh boy, I'm just glad that I had kept it that game close. Or boy, he blew me out, but but come on, man, he a pro. Like I hate that shit, man. I hate it. All right, so right here we get them to take a uh, field goal. And we come out in the second half. I'm explaining to y'all why I hate that logic. Because I've seen it in about 12 YouTube videos in Madden 23 alone. All right, so yeah. But yeah, the reason as I come on single back trip, just to get some yards, try to get, pick up some cheap run yards, and it didn't happen. But I, like, because I upload so many videos against pros, like I guess that, as far as the algorithm, they suggest me any video where a YouTuber matches up with a pro player. And outside of like the Thrones, the Civils, the Dubby, Skimbos, actual pro players, every time you see a YouTuber match up with a pro, they be like, yo, man, I know I'm outmatched. I know I shouldn't win this game. And what I'm going to try to do is just keep it close. Man, you sound like a little hole, doggy bone. Because what you doing is like essentially... Is you making it seem like we shouldn't be competing with them? Like we shouldn't be on the same field of them, bro. And I hate it so much. I hate that logic, bro. It make them sick. Oh, my mama, it do, bro. Because I play pros a lot. And you know what I'm saying? I win against notable pros. I lose against notable pros. As, as, as nigga, you off the team, 58. Soon as I can find somebody to replace you, doggy, hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. You off the team, bro. But yeah, man, what I was saying, bro, is I play against and, and whether I lose, whether I win, regardless of what the situation on as is, bro. As I run that play, and we get a very, very, very good throw and catch. I never feel like I'm outmatched. Like, yeah, I didn't got, I didn't, let me see, I didn't flood it. I mean, I got flooded by Civil. I got flooded by, uh, yeah, Civil's the only one who's flooded. But I've lost by two touchdowns to uh, Mills. But I've also flooded Civil. I've also flooded Spam and Buttons. I flooded um, K Mac the first time. The first time we played, like I didn't beat notable niggas, and I didn't took nasty. I didn't took some ass whoopings too. You know what I'm saying? And then I've just lost games, like y'all see me lose the second one to K Mac. I lost by one to Dreamy. Um, I told y'all about Mills. I always forget the belt winner that I beat. I always call this nigga Wolfenstein. I don't know why I do. Stiffmeister. Golly, I don't know where I get Wolfenstein from. Boy, that crazy. <laughs> but yeah, bro, I can't stand the fact 
that whenever I watch a, another tuber play a pro player, they they just be acting scared. There's no way I can compete. God, may the gods be with me. Like, man, come on, man. You sound like a real hoe right now. As we uh, dot him up for the tub. You know what I'm saying? We 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 that that play definitely gonna be in the ebook of swords because I've been liking it a lot lately. And I've been finding some nice rock combo to go with it. I appreciate I appreciate y'all for sticking around for that little mini rant. You know what I'm saying? If you stuck around this far, let me know how you feel in the comment section about that. All right, so coming back out, man, he comes out in bunch empty. I mean, bunch open empty. I know it is a full fledged RPO offense, so I'm going to fully commit to the RPO, uh, and I'm gonna play the inside zone. As you can see, I'm manning up. Uh, I'm manning up Crabtree, and I know he's going to quick throw the flat. I'm right here for the pick. I got Lurker on DJ, so he's able to come up with that. And now, like, we low-key got a chance to put this game away. Like, that pick was huge. So we're going to come out here, run a little cheap offense, see if I can get a couple yards. I'm trying to be balanced a little this game because I know he plays real balanced offense. You know what I'm saying? Run pass, run pass. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to be a little a little balance stay out here, man. So again, I'm coming out in that same play. I'm I'm putting some different route combos on the field. Um what I've been doing lately against people who blitz is I just been sending out five all five routes because I feel like that's the best way to learn your offense. Send out all five routes and make a read, bro. Like right there. I had uh the corner route, but he just came free off the edge. Like, regardless if you block six or how you choose to play it this year, bro, if they got edge threats, they'll be there unless they'll be there very quickly. Very, very quickly. And a lot of y'all say, oh, that's real football. Shut up, stupid. Like, this is not real football, man. This is a game. As you can see right there, I have, I got the read that I want. I probably can score off that little checky down. But, and, and this one I wasn't mad about because this is Lawrence Taylor on Michael Crabtree. He should destroy him. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, in, in no way possible should Crabtree be able to stick with him on that route. While what I should have done and why I was showing it to y'all because I still had the middle of the field. I should have went slant and probably, like, curl for, um... For my tight end and then through the curl route you know what i'm saying but that's why the post comms are so good because not only do i teach y'all but i get to learn from watching you know what i'm saying and i get to break down what i'm learning also and and that's low-key the chess part about this game because the only reason i ran it the way i ran it as he comes back the, uh out to run the ball was because the previous time he had nothing but hooks and flats so the backside of the end zone was open. So I thought he'd go back to that same thing, but he he just ran man. What I want to say, uh, with, with flats on the field. So the middle of the field was wide open, but the pressure came so quick. I just I just didn't make the adjustment. Coming back out again, up seven. I'm like, all right, bro. I like I'm still in control of this game, bro. He runs the ball again. Nah, man, we gonna blow that run up and get it to a third down. Now, I I personally consider myself as an extremely unlucky Madden player, bro. So right here, we play really good defense. He has to throw the ball away. We force him to a fourth down. Now, I want y'all opinion on this play. I'ma sit back and chill. Now, I'm going to go back and I'm going to tell y'all what happened right there. Because I know a lot of y'all going to be like, well, bro, you know what I'm saying? It didn't feel like you was auto. You was in the position to get the interception A's, et cetera. So I man up uh, the right side, and then I put a flat side for the running back. I am going to use her willing. I hit Y right there. I hit Y. The moment I hit Y, this nigga turns his back to the foosball. Completely turns his back. I hit Y right there, and he just, like, he turned, and then, like, he just stopped. You know what I'm saying? I didn't animate towards the ball. So, like, right there, I had a shot to put the game away. And, you know what I'm saying, it, um, 
just just kind of unlucky. You know what I'm saying? If somebody say you weren't there, I was there. But when I hit wide to anime, I just I stopped. I didn't move towards the ball. I just stopped. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that one hurt, bro. Cause because if I get that, I put this game away. And y'all know, bro. It, like I don't know. I don't know if y'all play. Like a, I don't know how much comp y'all play, but when you do play a ton of comp, you don't get a shit ton of chances to put them away and win the game. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like that momentum meter at the top, that don't mean shit. The moment you miss picky D's and you miss opportunities to put guys away, you're going to pay for it. Every single time you're going to pay for it. Right there in the flats. And that's how you pay for it, bro. He gets an auto juke. That wasn't him juking. I went to go hit low because you get better tackling if you hit low. And he got an auto juke break tackle to take it to the crib. And that's just unlucky on my... You know what I'm saying? That's part of the game. Can't really control it. All right, so coming out, I have a decent idea how he how he's probably going to play this. So I run the ball, and we just get insta shed it. And trust me, I got a, I got a good old line, bro. But the under center run game is hella 50-50 this year. So again, I'm going to go back to the same play. And I know y'all like, Foreign, why you don't switch up your plays? Because I don't give a shit about who I'm playing. That's not going to stop what I'm doing. I said I was labbing this play. Right there, I go to throw it. Because if you notice, when you cut inside on that play, you have inside position. All he has to do, all I got to do is uh, uh, put the ball on the inside and click on. And it, and it, I haven't had a bad animation on it yet. So I'm going to go right back to it. I know he's bringing him down for the flat. I throw it, and, and the, that's low. No bullshit you not. It's probably the first time today that that's been intercepted. I'm going to upload a video for y'all tomorrow where y'all can see me throw that all game. I looked at the play. And it was just it, like his corner broke on the ball before my receiver did. That's all it really was. He broke on the ball before my receiver did. It's like, like you know what I'm saying? Man, defense a little glitchy like that, bro. Like they break, like they, it's like they read the play. So now it's just about um, playing hella aggressive. And hella aggressive to either holding the three or he, he get a touchdown and I get an opportunity. But against six one, it's a lot harder than than uh, and right there I just I'ma show y'all man. I don't know why my user walks outside of the blitz, bro. So when I try to you know click back to him, I get clicked on the D line instead because he walked outside of the box. I don't know why he walked outside of the box, bro. As y'all can see, uh, I've been running that setup against Dog when he came out in the five wide. That was his first time walking outside of the box. And then he goes, QB draw. We bagged that up. But that would have been my responsibility. I was going to send the pressure, and then I had to lurk the middle of the field. But when he walked outside of the box, he got a good quick hike on me. So I'm like, all right, he's probably going to go uh, QB draw again. So he does. I'm right there, and this nigga breaks a Warren Sapp tackle. And he runs it in, bro. So, um, we get, we just got hella unlucky with the broken tackles. You know what I'm saying? Again, it's it's part of it's part of the Madon this year, man. You gotta accept it and just take the shit for what it is. Now, if I can get a chance to score, I'm gonna go for two. All right, bro. So coming back out, man. Um, six one is actually a, is like a would be a really good defense against this. You know what I'm saying? But I still manage to move the ball very well because I'm just like semi routes out and then let's see what's popping. Right here, quick throw to the flats um, because I, I wasn't going to have time to let that right side of the field develop, which I had. You know what I'm saying? I had one receiver on both those guys and I had a street corner route combo. That, that, that could have came open if I had enough time. Again, right here. This is this is where I, I'm like, yo, I, shit, I'm labbing this shit for a reason. Let's go. Again, dog destroys his ass, and I, I just I throw it up, man. Let's make some shit shake, for real. Bounces 
But so right here, he has the underneath covered. He has the corner out. I have zero timeout, so I cannot take a sack. A sack puts me at about third and 18. Um, so basically, I'm at a point in the game where I have to throw some shit up and make some shit shake. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to playmaker that inside. and But I, I throw the ball way too late. Like that route, you throw it in between the 10 and 15 yard mark. Once you get out, once you get up the field, the recite, the uh, cornerback gets back inside, and he can take it away. But again, nigga, like Lawrence Taylor is gonna decimate dog, uh, Crabtree every time on that side. So right here is like, all right, let me see if I can get a turnover. If he gets the first down, it's GGs, and essentially that's what he does, bro. So right here, I end up just, you know what I'm saying, conceding because the game was over, bro. We put up a valiant effort, but we came up a bit short. 100% um, my fault. And then, you know what I'm saying, a little bit unlucky when I had a chance to put the game away. But y'all know how it go, bro. You can't win them all, cause, but you know Unc want to. Appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Hope you all enjoyed this gameplay, man. And hopefully, you know what I'm saying, I don't, I don't have to play no more good, good really, really good pros. Like I want to play like the middle-level pros. Like the niggas who qualify, but they don't really go that far. You know what I'm saying? I want to play them, man. Let's get up out of here.